Cold Cannon is as heartening as it gets. Perfect to serve alongside heavenly slow-cooked pork. Hand and spraying or shoulder is a traditional cut of meat, not at all popular because it has this big bone in, but slow roasted, it's perfect. Start with onions and garlic, sage and bay leaf, all in the bottom of a roasting tin. Score the skin, sprinkle on some salt and rub in a little oil. Into the pan on top of those herbs and onion and garlic, add hot stock, that's going to make it beautifully moist and also partly make the gravy. Place in the oven at 200 fan to give it a good start. What I like about something like roast pork, as soon as the family come in, they'll begin sort of sniffing and say, oh, we can't wait for lunch. That wonderful smell of a family roast. It's very comforting. After about 45 minutes, just turn the temperature down to 130 fan and leave for another three hours. I love a slow roast. It's particularly good if you have a family that are sometimes a little bit late for lunch. It just cooks to perfection. It does it without any attention. Now for my simple cold cannon. Melt a knob of butter in a hot pan with two tablespoons each of cream and milk. Throw in the boiled potatoes, turn off the heat, and start mashing. I like a fairly soft mash for the cold cannon. Get on top of it and press it down till it's beautifully smooth. That's a beautiful creamy mash. But to make it even better, spring onions and cabbage. So first of all, a generous, huge knob of butter in there. Cook these gorgeous green vegetables for about five minutes before adding the mash. Gosh, that's great, isn't it? I could eat it right now on its own. It's one of the simplest things in life, and it is so delicious. The slow-cooked pork is now ready to make some super crackly crackling. There it is. Now, it doesn't look like crackling at the moment, but you wait till it's been in a nice hot oven. Just cut the skin into thin strips, and for the ultimate crunch, 10 minutes in a hot oven will do it. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to burn it after all that effort. Right, let's have a look at the crackling. Really, really crispy. Look at that. Enough for everyone. And just listen as I bang it on the dish. A bit like pork scratchings. My slow roast hand and spring with melting onion gravy and the wonderful coal cannon on the side. What a celebration of Ireland. I can think of nothing more warming than this dish, and I'm ready to dig in right now.